In this video, we're going over how to use split screen, run two apps at one time on the Samsung Galaxy A12. Welcome back to another video by H2 Tech. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And if you learned something new in this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below and consider hitting the thanks button to leave a tip. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss our new videos. And finally, make sure you follow us on Amazon for my best tech recommendations and also to be alerted whenever I go live. Today, we're gonna to show you something really fun, which is how do I run two apps at one time? Basically, how do I use multitasking on the Samsung Galaxy A12? Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing you wanna do is decide what two apps you wanna run. Now in this case, I want to have a YouTube video playing at the top of the screen. And at the bottom of the screen, I wanna have Google Chrome open because I wanna browse the web and look for some things while my video is playing. So the easy way to do this or how I like to do it is just go to the first app that you want to be on the top, open it, hit the home button, and then go to the second app you wanna open, which is Google Chrome. We're gonna open it. And then we're gonna go home again. Now we're gonna hit the recent apps button and it's kind of hard to see it here, but there's a button right at the bottom of the screen here. Tap there. And I'm gonna swipe over to YouTube because I want YouTube to be the top app. I'm gonna tap on this little button at the top of the screen here and then tap open in split view. And then I'm gonna select at the bottom here, Google Chrome. And now I have YouTube at the top and Google Chrome at the bottom. Now to st step it up to another level here, I want to find a video to play. So let's go to, let's just find something to play. Let's see, let's see. It's not showing my subscribers, so I'm just gonna search my channel really quickly and we'll get one of our videos playing at the top. And then um, after that, we're gonna switch and show you. So let's go ahead and just start this one here. Turn that volume down. So video is playing right now. And you can also get that video in full screen by just tapping the screen and tapping the little square in the bottom right corner. Now the video is in full screen. And so while this plays, I can go to Amazon, for example, and I can, you know, I'm on Google Chrome, but I can be searching Maybe I'm shopping for something specific and I can you know, do my shopping while my video plays. I can also take the phone, rotate it, and have that video continue to play on this side while on this side I will be going through and doing my shopping. So this is just a really cool way to run two apps. Now what if I wanna switch and open up a different app on this side? I can tap on the, the recent apps button here. And I can then um, find another app that's open and switch it out. So let me swipe over. I have the settings open. Now it gets a little tricky with YouTube videos. Uh, when you switch to a different app, you do wanna pause the video first. That's probably the one mistake I made. Um, if you don't pause the video, then it will pop up like that. So I'm gonna pause it first. And I'm gonna go back in initiate the split screen. So tap at the top, open split view. And then if I do it this way, it's kind of better this way. It'll show me all of the apps on the phone, not just the apps that are open. So in this case, maybe I want to go to, I don't know, my, my messages. Maybe I want to send a text message. And so I can now start that video playing again, rotate the phone, and now while that video plays, I can go through and then I can find someone to send a text message to. So now when you wanna stop the split screen, there's three dots in the center of the screen. You're just gonna take your finger and just swipe right on the dots. And that will basically close out your uh, split screen, take you back to one app. But I'm not done yet. There is another way to multitask. And again, it's really centered around video. So I wanna show you this too. So let's say I wanna keep this video playing, but you know, I don't wanna share the screen 50-50. I wanna see more of the app that I'm trying to use. So as long as the video is playing, so the video is playing right now, 
If I hit the home button here, the video will continue to play in a pop-up video screen that I can then move to any one of the four corners of the screen. I can't put it in the center, or I can put it there, but not in the dead center. But let's say I move it up to the corner right here, and now I wanna go to, let's see, I'm gonna go to YouTube Music, and maybe I'm trying to build a playlist for a road trip or something like that. I can now interact with this app and see more of it while my video still plays in this pop-up screen. And I can easily just tap on this screen here and I can pause it, or I can even hit this um, button right here to jump to the next video. So I still have control of the video and then I can hit the little button in the right corner here. The button with the two arrows will take you back to full screen and make the video large again or there was a fourth option. The fourth option was just to simply close it. Um, so if I go back here, play it, you'll still see there's a little X in the right side there. If I tap on it, hit the X, that will stop the video from playing and close it out altogether. So these are two different ways to run two apps at one time. Um, it's a really fun feature. One thing to note is that it does not work with every single app on the phone. It does work with select apps. So just keep in mind, um, you may run into a couple that are not compatible, which, you know, it sucks. Everything is compatible, but for the ones that work, it is a great feature and I use it all the time. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Leave me a comment down below if you learned something new in the video. And again, make sure you hit that thumbs up if it was helpful. And finally, make sure you follow me on Amazon um, with the link below. I have a link in the description in the comments. I've got some great things happening with Amazon. And I want to make sure you guys know when I go live. So make sure you follow me on there. Thanks for watching. Take care. And as always, have a good one.